Hello and welcome to a very good cryptocurrency technical analysis video that I have for you today where I'm going to be talking you through one of the most perfect trades you are ever going to see taken on Bitcoin. Uh, so I'm going to start the technical analysis off with this trade because it's just so perfect and then I'm going to be moving on to how I am currently trading Bitcoin and where my targets lie. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. Let's get straight into it describing, you know, talking you through this bullish Gartley pattern that we have here, okay? And this is obviously for off of the back of this drop down that we saw for the B leg moving up for the C and down for the D okay so this was uh, something that I've been talking about the you know the last few days obviously uh, you know, I was looking for a longs aggressively at the lows first, closed out of my long, and in the end, I got a <laughs> got an even better entry. But um, you know, in the end, what we done was we pushed up. Okay, and this is where I was like highlighting to people that uh, you know we're, we're at, we've we've pushed up here. Okay, really strong push up, but you have just pushed up into resistance. So you know take you know take care here okay as i've as i've said here bulls can make money bears make money greedy pigs get slaughtered take profits okay so you can literally in this market it's so easy to make money being a bull and going long easy to make money being a bear and going short but if you are greedy you will lose money okay so obviously this was just highlighting the fact we were pushing up into that resistance level but what i was really interested and what i was like highlighting to the group was this gartley okay and this is exactly what i was looking for as you can see here what i was waiting for was the swing failure pattern of the high so i wanted to see this push up swing failure to high that would then be the short trigger to you know ultimately looking down for this d i must admit i wasn't expecting it to be so fast <laughs> but i'm not going to complain about that because i took the short so um what we saw here was a swing failure pattern of the high I think I was like even listing this in here, but basically here you can see it a little bit clearer that, uh, you know, you swing for your pattern the high. As you swing for your pattern the high and you come straight back down, that is the short trigger. Okay, so that was really where you had to be shorting in this, you know, if, if you're open to shorting. This was really a very easy, low risk short position. Okay, and what you obviously had on top of this, uh, this was, uh, you know, this this is called Delta Divergences. I had so many questions because obviously I <laughs> put, put on Twitter saying magic indicator not printed the long signal. Yes, yeah, it's, it's still short. And uh, this is referring to Delta Divergences, by the way. So that's that's the name of it. Uh, and so, yeah, this was another reason. So you had a few bearish factors. You obviously, the most for me was the fact that you'd done this uh, swing fire pattern down below the channel. So that was number one reason why I took the short. Obviously, though, you did have, uh, the delta divergences and you also had a bearish elliott wave count so my elliott wave count was looking at this bearishly this was a this was b and now we're you know on on c currently um so you know there was three factors for me with why i wanted to short this and uh short it i did oh no four factors okay so as you know i mentioned uh you know on the 16th while we were down at the lows wait you know get ready for this gap fill at 10,460. and what did you do Yesterday on that push up, we filled the gap. So there was another bearish factor, or not necessarily bearish per se, but just another factor of swing firing the highs and filling the gap simultaneously. Um, you know, there was there was the fuel definitely there with the amount of people that had longed this breakout, really thinking we were breaking out. There was a lot of people on the wrong side of the market, and all you needed was that sort of long squeeze to start. And well, it, it went perfectly. It really, really, really did go perfectly. So this is like what we were after. Uh, in the group was that swing failure to take the short to, sh to the short it down to the point of control as we came down to the point of control you can you can bet we were closing out of the shorts and going straight into a long so that is trading it from a perfect short down to the lows from the lows going into a long from that long you got up to back into the channel i mean you literally cannot get any more perfect than that and please 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 do not take this video the wrong way do not think this is bragging this is literally showing you Nobody can say the markets are random. Nobody, nobody, nobody. After you've watched this video, how can you say the markets are random? How many times have I shown you these patterns where you can predict the highs to almost the, you know, to the exact dollar, okay? To the exact dollar and also to the exact hour when it's going to occur. I mean, just knowing that you're likely going to push up for this swing failure pattern shortly, you push up for the swing failure pattern then shortly and you get the long squeezes. I mean, then knowing from where that you where you're going to cut, turn around to then where you're also going to turn around at the other end to see that happen on the long lower wicks there's just no way people can say this market is random there's really no way so i wanted to just start off sh showing you this and talking you through it just to show you like you know put in the time put in the effort and you literally can't crush these charts like an absolute champion and uh yeah so uh, he was in the live stream and yeah i was going through this one on live stream yesterday 
and uh, I, I, what I'll do, I, I'll say this, you know, if this, if this video gets what, what I can't remember, I don't know how average my video my, likes my video get, but let's say if this video gets, what, 75 likes, I will uh, put to the public the uh, trade, okay, so I was sort of recording this live as I was taking the short, I was recording it live, and then as I went down and switched into a long, I was recording that live, so you can see me actually trading, and not, not just, as I've said many times, there's a difference between showing you this and then actually putting money on the line, actually trading it. Um, you know, and I'm happy to release that video that is really only for the champion members, but I will release that to the public, just this one, uh, if, you know, this video gets 75 likes, so you'll have to show me if you want to see that or not, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll watch, and if it does, I'll upload it, if it doesn't, then I, I won't upload it, but, um, yeah, that was all recorded live, traded that live, and that was perfect, so, talked you through that one, and now, that, that brings us to where we are now, okay, so, you might be like, you know, Daniel, um, you know, you've traded this very well indeed, now, what are you doing, okay, so, what I'm actually looking for is the fact that on this push down, there was over 100 million in liquidations, so, at over 100 million in liquidations equals, you know, a very big drop in open interest, okay, so, open interest, absolutely, you know, we, we reached down in the, like, 800 millions, obviously, we were sat at a billion open interest, over a billion up here, Drop down to, uh, you know, under, no, I think it was about 820 million contracts. Uh, so obviously a big, big, big squeeze. Uh, but then that leaves us now in like a really crucial work time, okay? So what I'm really looking for is the confluence here of this channel, old channel support slash, slash resistance now is also coinciding with the 382. Okay, so you can see the at 9670 is the 382. So if price can claim this, okay, if price can actually get back in and claim here with a few hour closes, then I will be looking up to then the top of the range. And then this section for me is really, really key. Because of the fact you come up really quick, you come down really quick, you can definitely go up again really quick. So you don't really want to be overly bearish here. I mean, you, you don't really want to be bearish here. It's not the right time. This was the time to look for shorts. You're not really the right time to look for shorts here. Okay, you're a bit late to the move if, if that's the case. I mean, so what I'm really looking for is is one of two things. We, we either will reject here. Again, okay, if we do reject here, then I will be a bit more keen looking for shorts to trade down for at least a double bottom area okay but ultimately i would regard this as a bit more of a bullish okay move that we obviously just pull back to the point of control there's no reason to be ultimately too bearish at the moment if we can reclaim this i will be looking then for the top of the channel back up to here and if we can reclaim these levels again you've you got to be looking for like eight uh, to about ten thousand seven hundred next next you know area 11k Okay, obviously that's a bullish scenario that you reclaim this and you can then reclaim this channel. If you do reject here, then you're going to be looking down to around the point of control again. So let's just say 9,400. And obviously if you lose this level, then you're really looking down to like 9,150, 9,000, 8,600, 8,000. So this is not a video necessarily telling you um, well, I'm not that I ever do. I'm never going to tell you what to do. You've got to make that decision yourself. But I'm just telling you the two scenarios, which are the way this will trade out, is if you reclaim this channel, okay, then you can be looking to the high of the channel slash the next channel, okay? And this this rise should be fairly quick because of the, you know, quickness you went through it. Uh, but ultimately, if you do reject from here, you cannot reclaim then you've got to be looking down for um, point of control slash double bottom area. If you lose that, then, you know, not, low 9,000s, 8,500-ish. Um, so, yeah, that's really how you'd be trading it, okay? I would say that, in my opinion, it's a little bit more bullish because of the fact that it was fueled by liquidations and a squeeze. But nevertheless, you have caught a lot of people offside on this. So, there are there is going to be the selling pressure. So, you could expect one more, you know, test of the lows before then another push-up. And then again, what you'd be looking for was dealt with divergences on this. So you'd want to see uh, some like divergences as you go and push those lows. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just saying that you cannot like predict per se. You've got to be in the action, actually trading, actually monitoring. Um, you know, I, I can say here, I can give you just two scenarios, but then what one's going to play out, you need to be able to react. And obviously, if you cannot react, if you do not know how to do this, then that's why you could like use the group. I'm literally... <laughs> yeah, literally giving people the answers pretty much of what to look for. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I'm always more, more, more than happy to shield chart champions because I truly believe, you know, I truly believe like I am the best trader in crypto, period. But then on top of that, we have like an amazing team. We have an amazing team of just really active traders in here every day. Obviously, now I've employed Mike who is just a champion member. He's gone, he's become a member. He's gone through the processes. He, he's learned what I wanted him to learn. And now I've employed him as, as, a, as a mentor here as well. So, you know, it just goes to show you that you, you can really make this. Uh, your, if, if this is your passion, you can definitely make it full time. And Mike is a prime example of that. Literally come in as a member, you know, from, from taking a lot of losses. He learned everything that I taught. And now he's here, you know, helping me out and teaching alongside me, you know, it's, it's just perfect. And, um, 
if you want this type of community, if you want this kind of content in real time data, giving my thought process, um, then yeah, you can come along and to Chart Champions and I'm absolutely sure you will love it. I have no doubt in my mind you would not love it, but <laughs> obviously do your own research. You can ask the members how they feel, but you're not going to find anyone that doesn't like it, I don't think. <laughs> how can you not like making money while learning? I mean, it's pretty hard. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, um, oh yeah, this was taken from the live stream yesterday. So I was on a live stream yesterday for the contenders while uh, in that short position. So obviously it went really well. And uh, yeah, there's, there's some of the feedback. I mean, yeah, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Yeah, there, there is Mike when he was a, only a member. But yeah, how, how brilliant is that? Just so much congratulations to Mike. Uh, but yeah. Thank you, everybody, once again. I hope that this video has been helpful. I hope that you haven't taken it too much like a video of, look at me, I'm so good. Uh, although I must say my ego is very, very, very inflated right now because that was just a perfect trade. But at the end of the day, I hope that you can see, uh, you know, my thought process, what I was looking for, was looking for that swing failure. Or you obviously at the middle of the channel, the high volume, and then to bring it down being this as the old point of control. So where the most volume was transacted in this area, we came down to the point of control. Also exactly where I was looking for, for this garlic pattern. Okay, you just came straight down to, to the target for the, for the bounce. And I've taught you through what you're looking for now. Do you reclaim the channel? If not, then you'll be going to be looking for another push down, to be honest. Uh, so, you know, it's not really the time person really to be too bearish unless you continue to reject from this channel. But, um, you know, that's how I'd be trading this over. The, over I, I think you, you could also range sideways here for easily for the next, uh, till Sunday close. So this is another four days. So you could... Four days is, you know, I don't like to say four days in advance how you're going to be playing train, but but at least for the next 24 hours, I think you can range here very very easily. So um, you know, don't rush into don't rush into a trade. Make an informed decision. Really like study the charts and don't just randomly enter trades. You know, you got to make informed decisions. Otherwise, you are gambling. Okay, and we're in the we're in the game of high probability good trades, not not gambling here and there. Um, so yeah, that's how I am looking to trade this next, waiting for a little bit of confirmation. Um, but yeah, there you go. I wanted to really talk you through this. And again, if this video gets 75 likes, I'll upload the video where you can actually see me live trading with, you know, big money on the line um, and doing that trade. So uh, yeah, that was nice. I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. And uh, just so you're aware, uh, I am off to Brazil uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow I will be jetting off there. So that's going to be uh, pretty fun. Um, so I will not be uploading too many videos, uh, obviously, while I'm um, in Brazil. Uh, so, yeah, just be aware that, that I will be a little bit in inactive. Um, but, yeah, thank you once again, everybody. Cheers and have a great one. Thanks and bye.